you crave exciting sports takes and news? Fed up with the same old boring voices you hear on the radio? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you just might be a tea bloomaholic. Lucky for you, it's time for another episode of the Tea Bloom Talk Show, the number one sports podcast in the world. Settle in, my Tea Bloomanites, because another episode starts right now. Live from Tea Bloom headquarters, here's your host, Tea Bloom. Hey, Eva, look at this. Ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate it. Just just go, please. Martha, get the fuck out of here. Go. Fuck off for a second. Seriously, you know what time it is. Are we good, John? Yeah? Oh, Ooh, yeah, we'll fucking are. see Jesus about that. Christ. What's going it says on? Your Sir Wi-Fi Charles? is red. You're you free. You're you're fine now, but you just froze for a good minute. Yeah. So. Oh really? I froze. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're up to yellow bars now. That's good. You're up from red to yellow. So, moving up in the world. What the fuck is going on? I mean, I I I've been talking to my fucking IT guy all goddamn <sighs> day. We needed to make one minor adjustment, one little update, and all of a Whole sudden, shit my crashed. Wi-Fi <laughs> won't work. This is what happens when you fucking, you know, you get the labor ready, guys. Well, just, I mean, they're worthless. It, it gets to a point. It's like have some, you know, kind of pride in your job. Do something. Right? I understand that. You get mm-hmm. what I mean. Even yep. if it's not oh, the favorite. Oh, for sure. You, you get what I mean. It's Trust me, that shit drives me nuts. I see it all the time. It's this fucking generation is what it is. It, it is. That's exactly where I was going with this. It's this fucking generation. Bunch fucking of fucking bullshit. losers. Fucking boy, boy, am I glad to see you, sir, Charles. Right? I mean, it's been a while, man. It's been a busy month. We've been fucking slacking. I don't even know I mean, what slacking's happened last a different, Sunday, I mean, honestly. I've had, dude, last Friday, I was literally sitting in a parking lot at Discount yep. Tire right now, That's waiting fair. for my car to get towed. That's true. Ultimately, just to be able to turn the shit bitch right show. back on, yeah. and it worked. Yeah, that's that's a shit show switch. right there. I have. Yeah. On a car? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I put them on Hondas all the time back in the day. So Didn't know I had one. Shut up. You hit Where your kill switch. Where the fucking God, dude? Where? I had a kill oh, switch on my car. Accidentally that, knocked dude? it. That's crazy. Yeah. Accidentally mm. knocked it. My car wouldn't start. The whole time I'm thinking it's some electrical issue. Guess what? Oh, All I had to do my. was flip the switch. Well, now you know. Now, <laughs> You've yeah, had now, that thing for $200 how, later. How did you not know that was a goddamn? Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Never fucking knew, dude. Never fucking touched it, man. Fucked mind. it, man. Shit happens. Hey, that's nice, though, you know? Yeah, I, God, you it, have a kill is, switch. it is nice. Bad it is yeah, nice. I need one on my car. You smart. Um, fuck, where, where are we? Let's let's retract stuff. Okay, T. Bloom Talk Show, T. Bloom and Nights. Welcome to the first, or not the first episode. Yeah. Welcome to another episode of the T. Bloom Talk Back. Show. I'm your host, T. Bloom. That is your co-host. Charles the Eight. How's it going, Nation? Go Niners. Hey, <laughs> See you week How one, bad is Trey Lance? How bad is Trey Lance? Oh my God! That was the <laughs> fucking most. <laughs> I mean, cut him! Oh, fucking goodness. cut him, bro. Sam Darnold's gonna be the backup. I'm calling it right now. Trey Lance is gonna be third string. He better be. Here's the thing. I want. I looked at his specific stat line just on ESPN. Misleading. Even Does as not bad tell as the was, story at all. Tell the, no, that touchdown. It bobbled out of. Yeah, that was. I watched that live. And, I ended up turning the game off in the third quarter, actually, because you don't want to see that. It's just oof. preseason. How'd Sam moves. Darnold look? He looked better than Trey Lance. Not that that's saying much. <laughs> well, mean, that's the fucking. But you know, standard. at this point in his career, Sam Darnold's talented enough and should be experienced enough. He can go out and manage a team, and if you can manage this 49ers team, they'll win you some games. So yeah, I don't mind him as a backup. I'm cool with it. But yeah. man, Purdy, I mean, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Well, well, you got to think that Sam Darnold's going to be starting a few games at some point in this year. Just by oh, the way, just by the way, your guys' season's going. During, I think I tweeted it during the game. was like, you know, as a Niners fan, you got to watch these preseason games. You need to know the second and third string quarterback because you know damn well they're going to play a game or two for you at least. Uh huh. So, uh-huh. yeah, it's just, yep. I've heard terrible things about Kenny Pickett too, man. I hate to Oh, say really? It. Like what? I, I've heard bad. Just that he just doesn't look like he's progressing. I heard that he just doesn't. I heard him actually. This was uh, what was it? I was listening to one of the ESPN that said that he did not look like a progressing NFL quarterback. I forget who it was. Huh, that, that's I mean, weird that because sound good. that that's weird because he came out opening drive and led him down for a fucking touchdown. Five. Hey, they were seven. just saying through the off season. I don't know. I'm not talking. I don't. They were talking about the game. They were just saying overall what they've seen. Oh, and, and how many training camp bad. practices have they been to? 
all of them, obviously. Oh, oh yeah, you work for ESPN. Yeah, all you, 32 Schefters yeah, are out I'm at saying. a training camp right now. All 32. They cloned him. He's everywhere. That's what's bogus about that whole fucking thing that you just said. You said that you got this from ESPN? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you this right now. I want, I have the whole, you know, Steeler beat writers. I follow oh, them yeah, all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got unbiased sources. Okay. Kenny Pickett. I'm not saying he looks like a fucking, he's just, now he's fucking Patrick Mahomes. Harry Bradshaw but he 2.0, is on, baby. He is on track to consistently, you know, get better and better. I, mean, I think he has the weapons this year. I, I think Friar Moose will take another step forward. I mean, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I'll, I'll see what they're doing. Man, we never fucking, we were supposed to go to week one in Pittsburgh. It just never happened. One of these days. <sighs> Fuck, dude. I mean, I'm going to go to a Steelers game without you. I'm going to fucking fly do out not, of here. Be do like, not. Do not. I can. A Steelers game. I'm just kidding. If I'm we kidding. can fucking, oh, I just need the money to be able to do it. I got a lot of moving parts going on in my life right now with money wise, oh, but we can have definitely to be make. This I can get already... a free flight to yep. your to your whenever. There you go. Just yeah. so you know. Be, yep. Okay. Shout out Frontier yep. Airlines. Anyway, hey, hey. Let, let's Ooh, get this. Plug. Let's get this shit back on track. Yep, We're here for go. one reason, one reason only. The goddamn NFC East. The worst division in football. The most annoying division Ooh. in football. Oh, oh whoa. But the just Eagles based, are just, in the worst division. No, okay, here's... I meant, the worst fans division, maybe. I just hate seeing them every fucking goddamn Sunday night. I, I hate like, seeing I, I hate I seeing that. it. They're all primetime team. There are. I mean, there's the commanders who are like, they don't even count. Why they're in that Or division. are they the Have Redskins? Have they been demoted to the XFL yet? I mean, good God. They should be the Redskins. Anyways. They will be. Again we will no years. longer I'm be blacklisted because that's a possibility. We ha- like there's one hundred fifty thousand so. yep. people signing. I saw that. There's people actually, and it's funny because it's all the people that they said were offended by the name. Yeah. They want it brought back. Surprise, mm-hmm. a fucking prize. You yeah. don't speak for everyone. Fucking white people, yeah. man. Yeah, God white damn. people. They 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 think you know they, white yeah. people did that. I mean, they, I just, they there's think no that doubt they can about just it. speak for every minority in there. Yeah. No, guess what? The natives love way. it. They love yeah. being represented in the NFL, and I can guarantee you that the Redskins. That if, if there was a betting odds out right now, I bet it'd be minus 500 that the Redskins will be the new name for the Washington Probably. football team. I, I, I'm all for it. I hope it comes back. Command, I mean, it's not it, man. I don't care. I still call them the Redskins. Everyone, guess what? I live 50 minutes from D.C. Everyone calls them the goddamn Redskins still. Everyone. No one says the command, how the commanders look good. No, it's the Redskins. Uh, it's, I think it's time it for what it is. I think it's time for people to just uh, embrace mess up it. and realize they, yep. they were wrong. Yeah, mm-hmm. happens. Okay. But I agree with you. This fucking, this division is every Sunday. You're not wrong. I mean, at least half the season, you're looking it at the Sunday night football game like in it, Dallas man. or Philly. Yeah, it does. They're so talked about compared Big to markets. like the, Big yeah, markets. compared to some of the other divisions that no one discusses. And it's just NFC East, NFC East, NFC East. It's, mm-hmm. it's a lot for sure. It, it, it is. And it, I'm not going to sit here and say that what I meant by they're the worst division of football is it. Like you said, they're the most annoying division in football. This, these teams have a lot of talent. And speaking of these teams, I think we should start out with one of the probably most recognizable franchises in NFL. Let's start off with the Dallas Cowboys. Gross. All right. Let's do it. Get them out of the way. No one get them out, the out of the yeah. way. I hate okay. them. I think I'm, yeah. Least let favorite me, team. Let me start it off by saying this team is going to be pretty good. They're not going to be yeah. really good. They're going to be You're pretty correct. decent. You know, You're correct. I think they get double digit wins. I don't mm-hmm. think they're going to win the Super Bowl by any means because that's just kind of what they do. They no, have a really yeah. decent team, put out a good product, and lose in the first playoff game every year. Exactly. You know, exactly. you love to see it. As a Niners fan, you love to see it. Anyways. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it, it sounds cliche to say, but this team only goes as far as Dak's willing to take them. Their defense yep. is pretty nasty. I mean, Micah Parsons, and then you got fucking uh, Diggs in the cornerback realm. I mean, that whole deal. They got a solid defense, but my my whole thing is Dak Prescott, man. Or also, yeah. how will they will they even stay healthy? That's a good well, I don't know. I've lost faith in Dak Prescott personally. There was a time where I considered him a top 10 quarterback in the NFL, and I just I don't see that out of him anymore. I mean, even when he's on the field, he doesn't really look that I mean, he has his boom games, but he just doesn't look the part anymore. I don't know what right. happened there, but mm. Well, yeah, he came out his rookie year, looked like the freaking the savior. Yes. I think his rookie year might have been his best year as a quarterback. That or the year after, I think. Once after he broke his he leg or whatever, he, whatever happened to his ankle. I know something like that. That was he last not year. The same. What? Nah, was it? Last year was his, he did the it, year that he came. He did off. it. Before, he got hurt before that too, though. 
he probably did. Yeah, there was another year, year with a big injury. Off. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I just don't believe him. I mean, Zeke's gone. That's, I don't know. There's the heart and soul of that team. Zeke, man, you know? that dude's where that's down. You know you're down bad when you came from the Dallas Cowboys starting roster spot at running back, and now you're wearing number 15 for the New England Patriots. I mean, that guy's yeah, going nice. through boot camp. Oh man, yeah, dude, that's that's a bummer. You know, you hate to see. It. I mean, at least big franchises. He's going with a. Amer- he's an American guy. The Cowboys and the Patriots. I mean, dude loves loves the USA. That's a good um, question. Who's more yeah. American, the Patriots or the Cowboys? You let us know in the comments, T Bloom Nation. We all know it's the Cowboys. I mean, come on. Most I don't people know. Hate the Patriots. What's ah! more American than being hated? Well, you know. All right, but the Cowboys what? are pretty hated too. They are. I mean, I hate them. That's the one team I've seen I hate. hate. Them. Yeah, I mean, but I yeah, also hate the Patriots. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I would say they're right there too. I mean, Steelers are near. You know, they're no, up there. No, oh, Pittsburgh, no, Pittsburgh. They're the no. darling of the league. You oh, know. Yeah. Oh yeah, everyone loves them. But <laughs> Cowboys did sign. They got Brandon Cooks. Um, I think that's an upgrade over Michael Gallup. Personally, I think he's going to shore up that receiving spot. Uh, he got. I mean, he looked good in flashes, but that Houston team was ugh, last yeah. year. I mean, uh, Nothing and he needed to, to get up out it. of there because he's he's yeah. better than that. So. uh yeah, I mean, they're going to be a good team. Tony Pollard, I'm curious to see how he does with this high usage, if they're really going to use him like that. Probably um, going to get injured. I'm hearing, I, that's my, I'm hearing that, that Deuce Vaughn is going to be a lot more involved in this offense than people think, and is going to really take a portion of that snap share. Deucey do? He's a rookie. Yeah, a rookie guy, Um, but apparently he looks good so far in training camp, and the Cowboys really like him. And uh, the Cowboys have used two backs for how many years now? Is that that little short spit fuck yep. that's running around the Deuce field? Deuce Vaughn, oh, okay. baby. Yeah, God damn, you know, yeah. he does look good. You can't say. I mean, he looks pretty impressive for, you know. He's a shifty guy. I mean, those yeah. small backs, I mean, the low center of gravity, you think of Maurice Jones-Drew that comes to mind oh, immediately. And he was a beat, yep. The man, the man was a bowling ball. You think you have him wrapped up, taken down? Nope, he explodes for a 40-yard you Couldn't team. tackle him, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Those, yeah, but I yeah. agree. I like underrated running back, by the way. I, yeah. I, do like, I do like the fact that you bring up Brandon Cooks because I think that is going to be an asset to specifically C.D. Lamb, because Brandon Cooks yeah. is still a guy who can stretch the field. Mm-hmm. You know, he, 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 he's played for every team at this point, it feels like. But, yeah, he can yeah. He can stretch the field. He doesn't stick <laughs> yeah. around long. He's like two years, and they're like, all right, get the fuck off my team, dude. Yeah, like, I, 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 Probably a real asshole. Yeah, but, I wonder um, what the deal is with that right there. Right? It's a little strange for sure. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, they're going to yeah. be good um, as much as I hate it. Yeah, it'll be. I mean, I think they're going to be the same old Cowboys. I mean, a team that yeah. can beat anybody any given Sunday, but, but won't. Prob- yeah, but won't. <laughs> yep, I Especially agree. Especially when it matters. And I did see someone predict them to win the NFC this year and be the number one seed. Uh, oh my! I was gosh. just reading about it actually, and I just I thought that was crazy. Look at the track record. I mean, if they do, they're going to lose their first playoff game. So what's it matter? Yeah, <sighs> yeah. It really doesn't. It doesn't. So I, I I think we spitballed everything we need to spitball about the goddamn Dallas Cowboys. I think yeah. we should move on to the Philadelphia Eagles. You're defending NFC champions. I know you don't like to hear that, but they are. You know, I wish, I just wish they would have had a player that could throw the ball the second half. That's all I can say about the NFC championship. I've moved past it. Well, whatever it is, what it is. I agree with you as a fan. That was that just exactly. It was just, I remember just see. being so yeah. disappointed. Because that was a, a great matchup. I mean, I was pumped just for the game. Like, even if you lose, you want to lose, or, you know, at least go out trying. Not yeah, go out shooting. Running the ball three times and punting. I mean, yeah. fuck me. That was hard to watch. Um, oh, yeah, but... So, yeah, Philadelphia Eagles. Oof, yeah. I mean, what I mean, What do you? You know what you got. You got Jalen Hurts in this offense. Oh, yes, Obviously, I Obviously, their defense is pretty lethal. Mm-hmm. Or at least. They're no joke. Sometimes I, no joke. I think when they face a really elite offense, they don't. their pass defense gets blown up at times just yes. out of nowhere for nope. And if you look at the roster, it really doesn't make a lot of sense. They got talent back there, uh, but they tend to just and when they do break, they break horribly and just can't stop anything. But I got a question for you. Yeah. Do the Philadelphia Eagles have the best jerseys in the league? The best throwback, no doubt. I don't think Jersey. Not modern. But no, I love. I, I absolutely love the uh, the throwback. The fucking Kelly Green. The you know old. Uh, I'm not 80s. a big fan of those. They're actually. I would. They were just talking about those are the highest selling uh, throwback jersey ever in the NFL. Like by fucking three times any other team's throwbacks. Really? Yep. 
That's fucking weird. Philly, man. He just it's Philly. They what else the fucking Philadelphia people wear? They wear Eagles gear. Fucking A. I know, and they gotta relive the past. Did they even win a Super Bowl in the past? I don't think so. Randall Cutting. Maybe. No. I don't think he won one. Yeah, I think their first one. Can no, Jaws that- won one. John Ron Jer- Jarowski won one with them back in the day. I swear to God, Jaws on ESPN. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were wearing those back in the day. That's probably what oh, it is, maybe man. Maybe not. No, why did they not? Oh, no, well, they won it in fucking 2018, fucking idiot. No shit, Carson well, Wentz. Obvi- I know they Foles, won it yeah. before. <laughs> That's it? No, no, they didn't win it. That was that. their first, wasn't it? I yeah. thought Jaws won one. Yeah, weird. No. Anyways. Huh. Well, sorry, Jaws. You didn't get a ring. But um, I'm worried about yeah. their running backs. I mean, Rashad Penny, there's talk of him not making the team, man. They're talking about him getting cut before Rashad the fucking season Penny. starts. Hey man, he was a good. He two years ago averaged six point three yards a carry. Yeah, I mean, he, he also was, averaged yeah. six point three injuries per year. Injuries so yeah, I mean, not wrong. what the fuck but, uh, does that mean? I don't know what they're gonna do. DeAndre Swift and Rashad Penny. That's your backfield. All right, there's six games. What Swift. else do you do? Swift. If he stays, he's not staying yeah, healthy. He's, not he's healthy almost as bad as Penny. He's almost as bad as Penny when it comes to staying on the so, field. So, so, so their- Kenneth Gainwell is gonna get a ton of play this year. Oh my God, that's the fantasy play right there. Breaking news: T Bloom talk show. T Bloom's fantasy play of the. He's gonna take year. him first. Tanner's taking him first overall. Kenneth, Kenneth Gainwell. Gainwell. Uh, you're taking Bijan. We all know. Everyone's infatuated. I'm not, taking, I'm not infatuated with anything, Falcon. Yeah. Well, I've, uh, he's not. Uh, well, I get that. I know. I, I have. I know two people are taking. I've been sleuthing. I know two people are taking running back for sure in the first round. And I know well, Bijan. That's what everyone does. Yeah. Well, everybody takes have, a running back. Not when you have Saquon Barkley with your third round keeper. You have your RB1. You can fucking aim for the moon, baby. Or you really make an RB a strong spot and you just. Fucking run yeah, it down their fucking... butthole, you know? Yeah. Oh god. Right in the yep. Right in the arse. I've I was just say I've won fantasy twice doing that, which is crazy running backs. <laughs> just fucking two stupid running backs yep. and then because having... wide receivers, you can find wide receivers to put up 12, 13 yeah. points a game, man. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Yeah. All you need is like so, 12 points out of receiver. Right, and you're fine. If you have and you get like okay, a nice little end. Patrick Mahomes or Josh Allen on your team. Guys, Already got but... Jalen Hurts, baby. So oh, six round well, keepers. So yeah. I'm I have a feeling Jalen might be hurt by the end of the year. Yeah, that's Breaking okay. News. It's okay. I'm. I got some. I got. I. I. I have a contingency plan. I'm not going to share it with you because okay. I don't need it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I can't wait to beat you in two leagues this year. It's going to be special. You know that would be really special. That would be something that you'd have to mm-hmm. go to the store and probably make a plaque out of. But it just won't happen. Oh Sir yeah. Uh, it just mm-hmm. will not. It we'll won't. See. It we simply won't. Sure. I'm Maybe excited though. I'm okay. excited, yeah. I don't know. It'll be fun. Let's fucking keep it fantasy. On. Let's keep it moving on. Uh, yep. We got the fucking Philadelphia Eagles covered. We talked about with them. We got the fucking Dallas Cowboys covered. Let's mm. go to the New York football Giants. Yep. What got we... something for this. Yeah. Whoa. What do we got going on here, folks? We got Sir Charles leaving his spot. This has never been attempted. Oh. Oh my God! Giants, baby, can't wait to wear this Monday Night Football, October second. Oh, be there. Man. When did you get that? Oh, I've actually had this for about ten years, dude. Uh, <laughs> ten years? Yeah, it's from like late eighties, early nineties. I don't know when, but this thing's fucking old as shit. So, as it. a San Francisco fan, losing to them in the NFC Championship all those years it's, ago, did that not yeah. put a sting on them? Or? It did, but I mean, I like, I've like i been a Giants fan since I was a kid. Amani, t- like a fucking Michael Strahan, Amari Amani Tumor, Tumor yeah. Amani, yeah, I mean, Jeremy uh, Shockey. Tiki Barber, yep, Jeremy Shock. who doesn't love Shockey? I mean, and I love, Shock. I love Tiki Barber. He was my favorite running back for a long time, so. Giants are one of those sleeper teams I root for. But at the same time, you were also going for the Niners during that time. Oh, period. whenever they play the Niners, it's it's Niners for sure. It's not even a question. You know, remind, if they're playing remind, each other. Remind T Bloom Nation why you are a Niner fan. My family, it's just, I mean, my entire dad's side of the family, they all from San Jose area, San Francisco area, just die hard. I mean, my dad's about to buy season tickets this year. He told me, I mean, he just is. I was in a Jerry Rice jersey as a baby. I didn't have a choice. It's all I know. Yeah. In my blood. Yep. Okay. It happens. But this is like your guaranteed second favorite team, not even close. Uh, they're they're top, they're top 
three probably yeah. well you got some know. attire of them obviously they i do yeah i used to them? have i actually used to have a tiki jersey i used to have a eli manning jersey i actually had a yeah so back in the day you know uh i don't know I, i'm trying to be a ravens fan living in baltimore stop let me stop you, you right there no no, no. It, let, but, let me just uh, let me just convince you why uh one ring or two okay rings? i know yeah but uh, no that's two. a that's a pretty bad Point two in 25 okay, two yeah. in 30 years is how about good. this fuck them right yeah i mean hey, fuck the baltimore Ravens. you can say whatever you want about baltimore it's it's an interesting place but uh they love their fucking sports man and i love it i love a town that loves their sports I yeah mean, but they love it because they're from a. baltimore not because they think the baltimore ravens are legit uh, i don't know you would but you, some of the delusional things people think about the ravens in this town you're just fucking yeah what like okay Bring up one like look, like Lamar Jackson is just like the best. I mean, people either hate him or just love him, love him, love him. Lamar Jackson's the best quarterback in the NFL, and it's like, okay, I don't care how much of a fan you are. Lamar Jackson's not the best quarterback in the NFL on any metric. Uh huh. I just that's just not true. You know. You know that kind of reminds me of Brock Purdy out there. Yeah. Hmm. Baby goat. But uh, who? I'm going to skip over that. Yeah. Let's skip over that. That's going to be a good little thing for the reels. By the way, the real, when I'm editing stuff and I'm trying to find like funny faces for yep. us, it's fucking like, I need, I, yeah, I need to yeah, do a couple of those, do a couple. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Keep them talk. So you guys don't know fucking what we're talking crazy. about, but when I'm making these reels, I need the funny faces. So we I need faces them and guys. fucking throw them after that. Anyway, Brock Purdy, Oh God! See, that's gonna be if I can get it flipped, it's gonna flip. Yep, do it anyway. Yeah, I mean, I, I I just don't see very many Raven fans that live outside of Baltimore. I know a few. no, and there's actually a surprising amount of Steelers fans in the Baltimore area, which kind of drives me nuts. Dude, we travel so well. Dude, yeah, I know it's like there's one We're of those like, like the, the, the 49ers, the, Niners. the Cowboys. Yep, I was gonna say there's those teams that just even the Raiders. You go, people love them. Yeah, Raiders are up there too. I think it's but, that seventies, um, that seventies era, that just yeah, probably is that nostalgic football feel. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves it. Yeah, but yeah, okay. Daniel so, Giants, Daniel yeah. Jones got one hundred sixty mil in four years. I mean, how crazy is that? And they don't want to give Barkley more than ten mil. It's just fucking nuts. I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch Barkley. I mean, the guy's coming off. I an wouldn't ACL give Daniel Jones year. forty million a year either. That's crazy for a QB. You have to but, for a QB that's somewhat competent and somewhat good. skillful. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't I mean, know. It, I mean, I hope they make another miracle. Like last year was kind of a special thing for them. I don't know that they got much. Do you think that they regress? I just, I could see it. I mean, I think Darren Waller is going to be a big deal. I think he's going to be the best, most consistent target, like kind of a safety blanket that Daniel Jones has ever really had besides Saquon. Mm -hmm. And I think that'll make him more efficient. I think it'll help his completion. You know, it'll just give him like a real guy he can target. He's never had a real wide receiver one. Um, unfortunately, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't, I don't see them winning more games than they did last year necessarily. Um, I don't really trust that defense and I don't know why anyone really would. So, I mean, we'll see. They brought back the same wide receivers, you know, Darius Slayton's back. Sterling Shepard's back. I mean, well, they got Roy Haas yeah. or Hayes, yeah, yeah. Haas out of Hayes, North Carolina Haas. Yeah. or Tennessee. Was that Tennessee or Ooh, oh, no, it's Tennessee. Where is it? He's out of Tennessee. Um, okay. they got, they got him. I mean, he's obviously he's a third, he's a third round pick. So he's not necessarily the highest in regards of, yeah. um, prospects wise, well, but yeah. I think he has the talent to make some noise. Also, they needed to really sure up this O line. This O line was trash, yes. regardless yep. of fucking Saquon. Saquon made that whole year by himself. Oh yeah. That was an impressive year. So they sure. did draft a center in the second <laughs> round. Mm -hmm. Which and was they so, signed who okay. they they signed a guard I think too. They did What's sign it. They did, but it didn't, yeah. they didn't do much. To no. it. They brought in a lot of wide receivers. Is what's crazy? Jamison Crowder one year one point three mil. Paris Campbell one year four point seven mil. Cole Beasley one year one point. I mean, it's almost like they're throwing darts at wide receiver, just hoping two of these guys are actually going to perform well. And Jamison That's Crowder he gets hurt a lot, but I've always liked him. He's been a very consistent reception guy who can get two years you ago sixty yards and fucking eight catches in a game. Mm -hmm. Fantasy um, God. You know, yeah. Oh, absolutely. One of the sleeper. Cole Beasley used to be the same thing. They're both older now. Um, Did Cole like, Beasley retire? 
yeah, he come retired. He came back, and then and they retired this, again. Yep, and then like something weird happened. Like he was on a team, and then he left it because he had like disagreed or yeah, I don't know. I don't because he I don't retired again. He got yeah, tied I, to a team last year, and yeah, then said, yeah, he, I, I think oh, it was yeah. the Patriots. He came back for the bill. I thought, yeah, he came back and played one game, and then was like, I'm not doing this. Yeah, this ain't it for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is just, uh, not. He said it. he should have. I remember it was this. The Bucks. Yep, and he said he should have stayed retired, and he messed. Yeah. Yep, and now he's apparently on the Giants roster. So. Mm. Yep, I mean, he's trying to take it easy. That's what he was trying to do. He wasn't trying to go on maybe. Brady's team and yeah. Nah, I gotta no, run no. Who wants to play with the fucking best quarterback and football player ever? That's well, he terrible. expects the best. It's fucking probably brutal practice. That's true. Oh god, it's like playing with Jordan, just fucking miserable. Um. Okay. Anything else to say about the Giants? I mean, I'm gonna be rooting for him. I'm definitely gonna be rooting for him against the Seahawks because you know, fuck the Hawks. Um. I hope they win the division. I don't. I give it like a five percent chance, but I would love to see it. Uh-huh. Go Giants! Forever well, blue. Let's move on to the absolute last team in this division. And <sighs> as I sit here and bring out my notes and stuff, and I realize there's nothing written on them because it that doesn't they didn't fucking matter. What do I anything? Do what they're the gonna they win do? this division? Oh, now here's you're dro- how. Oh, good God, Howell. Here's Sam Howell. Howell. Is so... the best quarterback in this division, and it won't even be close. It won't oh, happen by week one. Crazy. It won't happen by week two or it year two even or year three. three. But by week eight, when they destroy the Eagles' defense and he puts oh. himself on the map, you can oh, bet your bottom dollar. God. Bloom called it here right now on the T Bloom Talk Show. Did you... oh, I can't wait to that is wow. That's that's been some crazy predictions. Can I break it down for you? Go ahead, break it down. Did you know that Sam Howell? Okay, chill. You said break it down. No, not break it down, Sir Charles. Damn it, it my bad. Fuck. All right, all right. Break it down. Break it down. Did you know that Sam Howell was part Korean? I I can't say that I did. And I know you. I know you did. I know how that's relevant either. Okay. Well, let me break it down for you. Did you know that there's only been four other Korean players in the league? Young Ho Koo. Young Ho Koo's one of them. And guess who's another? Heinz Ward. Super Bowl MVP. I did. I was just talking about him with someone. I I did love Heinz Ward. That's in Sam Howe's lineage right there. A Super Bowl MVP. I don't. But, okay, but how many white? Do we need no, to get no, into the no, lineage? No, 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 no. We're okay, not going okay. whites and blacks about and Daniel? Mexicans and you know we're not just, doing that whole deal. Just Korean, right? Just okay, fucking Korean. Okay, so Heinz Ward's in his lineage, a Super Bowl MVP. So he's already got that going for him. It's not bad. Did you know that he is so Korean? His mom's side. That's his mom and his father. His, his, da- him, his no. dad was his dad met his mom in the 1916 Korean War. Okay. 1916? How old are Sam 1960. Howell's parents? Ah, okay. That makes yeah. how old are okay. Sam Howell's parents? Hold on. Again, this brings up how old is he Sam Howell's parents? He doesn't the only he doesn't eat beef or seafood or pork. The only kind of meat oh, he has no. ever ate is chicken. You know what that tells me? He's a chicken. You He's always a, eat. Fuck you. He's disciplined. This guy has a strict routine, a strict diet, and not to mention a strict passing ability that is going to take this Washington commander or Redskin team to the next level. You look at Terry McLaurin, John Dotson. I love John Dotson. I'll give you, I love John Dotson this year. Breakout. You want to tell me that they aren't going to put up a thousand yards each with 10 touchdowns each? You want to look me in the face right now, Sir Charles. I'm telling you, one of them will get there. I'm not sure which one. I could see one of them doing that. I think combined, they have together. They'll have together. They'll have close to 2,012 touchdowns, maybe okay. 14. I would say. I see that. Okay. I don't think both of them break it. Th- I think they one separates from the other by the end of the season. And honestly, I think Dotson has a better year. I think he is fucking really, really good. I'm on the complete other way. I think Sam Howell breaks okay. a uh, uh, a record for most passing yards this year. Any year. All right. That's I mean, that's fucking nuts. And here's my last point. Sam Howell, what college did he go to? Was it Texas? It was North Carolina. Yeah, you know any, does yeah. that make does that ring any other bells? Who else was I mean, North it's Carolina? Michael Jordan. Michael oh my fucking God. Jordan. Fuck me. All right. Yep. All right, you mean to tell me he went to the facts. same 
college as Michael fucking Jordan, and he's not okay, going to fucking be the GOAT? But Brady Quinn went to the same college as Joe Montana, and that did not fucking Who work the out. fuck is Joe Montana with oh, Tom Brady? God. Who the fuck is that guy? Joey Doesn't M. matter. I'm stamping it right now on the T-Boot All Talk right. show. Sam I'm stamping Howell. it right now. Jacoby Brissett, starter by week eight. <laughs> well, I'm going by week eight. Sam Howell makes his breakout game when he fucking right. dogs the yep. Eagles. Dog Let's walks him. Walks him like a little poodle on the strip. Well, all right. I would, hey, I would, I would love, I love to see a player come out and just fucking. I mean, I would be all for it, man. Trust me, they're also fifty minutes away. I'm already going to one game down there this year. If that's the case, I'll be going to more than one. Those <laughs> tickets are cheap as shit. No one goes to those games. So, oh man, I hope you're right because I'll be down there. If I were you, Sir Charles, I would buy up so many of those tickets because you're going to be able to resell them for a thousand a piece. Ooh. A million apiece. Sam Howell, yep. book Business it right now. That's right there. all I got to say about the Washington whatevers. All right. I mean, fuck, that was, that was a lot. You know, my one thing I was going to say about him is they signed Jacoby Brissett, and he might be the best quarterback on the roster. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, no, keep... I don't – they got a cornerback. I hope their defense gets better. Um, They went really heavy on defensive backs in the draft in general. Uh, I mean, your first two picks on DBs is kind of crazy. And then they went straight O-line with two picks. So, I mean, they, they had their areas they knew were problems, and they are trying to address it. We'll see how it goes. Um, I think this organization, though, is just happy that fucking Dan Snyder's gone. I mean, they I think they sold out of their season tickets this year for the first time in, like, 15 years or something like that be, after it announced that he was no longer the owner. So, I mean, the whole fan base is re-energized. I can tell you that being down here, they're really excited to not have that piece of shit, only willing to turn the lights on 30% during the games. Like, you cheap son of a bitch, you own a football team. Well, that's but, just how um, you run a business. That's just, I mean, you got to make cuts when you got to make cuts when you're fucking, but whatever. There's also to say that you go the <laughs> Warriors route, spend all the money on the best shit, and then you just have so many goddamn fans, you make it all back. But um, True. either way, uh, but yeah, I think they're the worst team in this division. And God, you couldn't be more further from the truth. I mean, I, talent wise and looking at the roster top to bottom, I don't see it. It's not about talent. Did it's you know that? Being Korean. It's about Sam Howell. Yes. Being the fifth Korean American to ever play the goddamn game. Okay. And that kind's word proud. I mean, hey, like I said, I'd love to see it. I'll be rooting for him. Not the weeks I'm there because I'm going to see the Niners, and if I go to another game, it'll probably be another team I'm rooting for. But I'll, I'll root for them in theory. Yeah. Well, I don't need that. I need you to root for them now and oh, forever. Oh, I know. Okay. Yeah. I think the Ravens are just a little closer. I mean, both teams are actually in Maryland. Little fact, the fucking Washington Commanders Redskins Stadium is in fucking Maryland. Yeah. It's not even in fucking D.C. Not even, yeah. Yeah, why are they the D.C.? They're not in D.C. You know what? And why does the Capitol not have their name, the Patriots? And why why it... is the Capitol its own weird little city-state? Deb- not even it's a state. We- I know. State. It's the Trust, dude, it's the weirdest thing. They can kind of, the laws there are weird. The people, the cops and shit can kind of just do whatever the fuck they want. It's a weird little area. The cops everywhere. Dude, it's, yeah, I don't like it. Really? Mm-mm. I I went once to go to the Smithsonian, went and saw Nipsey Hussle's chains because they brought him to the Smithsonian. And I went to park, and they were like, this is a federal building. We need to check your car. They made me pop my trunk, open up all my fucking – they opened my doors, rolled my windows down, like, and, like, searched my car before I could You park. know what and it is, I was is, like, right? yep, I don't like this. It's because you're white. Racial profiling. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I they're know. like, yeah. Biden's in office. You're a white piece of Looks shit. Bad. You need yeah. to open up everything. Yeah. Because well, I know you got a couple Mexicans in there. They, they were right, too. <laughs> I fucking lost them. <laughs> it's a Some shame. Bitch. Fuck. Yeah, that drywall still isn't hung. Anyways, that's a fucking story for another Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's go over. We got about six minutes left. We got to go over our final predictions for the records. I'll mm-hmm. start off mine by going with my last team. I'm going to go with the Giants at 10 and 7. Oh, wow. You got some crazy high win. You said the worst division in football, and you have the worst team 10 you, and 7. But I explained what I meant by worst. I did, yes, but this... Not like the worst talented. I mean, this is probably the best division in football in terms of like best of teams. It was the NFC West a few years ago. It changes so fast. It does. It really does. Okay. What do you got? I got the Redskins at 
eight and nine. <laughs> Stupid. I mean, it's not a bad record. Well, it's a wrong record. I'll tell you that. Honestly, I think I was being generous with that too. That I mean, they could very well be six and eleven, and I would not be shocked. Okay. Especially after Jacoby Brissett takes over, because I mean, that guy. Yeah. No, no doubt. Um, he's not going to, because Sam Howell is probably going to win MVP, unless Kenny Pickett does. Kenny Pickett probably will win MVP, but Sam Howell is going to be like <sighs> really close second. What about so? So you're telling me Bajan Robinson at plus three hundred to win Offensive Rookie of the Year is a bad bet? Offensive Shit. Rookie of the Year? Uh, no, that's a good bet. We got yeah, five well, minutes. All okay. right. Second to last, I got the Cowboys coming in at also 10 and 7. All right. Okay. I have the Giants at 9 and 8. Huh. Yeah. So we weren't too far off there. No, not not crazy far. I would say I think all these teams are going to be pretty close. Yeah. I agree. Number 3, we got the Philadelphia Eagles. I got them coming in at 12 and 5. Okay. All right. Mhm. Okay, I got the Cowboys at twelve and five. So, oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You think the Cowboys are gonna? Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. That makes sense. Okay, so for the final one, the number one team in the NFC East is going to be the Washington. I predict Redskins at thirteen and four, baby. Ooh, okay. Wow, man, that's fucking bold. I got the Eagles at 14 and three. I I just, I think they pick up right where they left. I think Jalen Hurts, just the way he seems to be, I don't think he's really going to skip a beat from fucking losing and everything. I think he's just going to turn that shit into fuel and do that. You know what I mean? I mean, he's just one of those ultra competitive dudes well, that I think is probably. Out of college, he was the type ex- of guy to go to another school and fucking. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, he has he will bet on himself and he believes in himself. And I think he's just I think as good of a player as he is, I think he's such a great leader for that team. Also, uh, and just a big morale guy. I think he's going to have them ready to go. And I think they're going to come out just firing. I hope they're running backs. One of the two can stay healthy because I don't think Kenneth Gainwell's capable of being a number one running back on a team that good. So (laughs) I'm hoping I'm I'm kind of betting on one of those two, at least playing most of the 11, 12 games, the other one being available, the other games, and they just kind of patch it together. Uh Um, But I think they're going to be the best team in this division and they could very well be the best team in the NFC again and be right there to lose to the Niners in the NFC championship game. So Mm. that's well put. That's well put. Sir Charles. Yeah. Um, Let's go over. Um, we'll just do one prediction for the UFC, just for the fans, just for the views, just for the da 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 da. Doug Shane is gonna lose. I'm sorry, guys. Did you just call him Shane? Sugar. Oh, I did. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't Sugar know why I Sean. Him. Sugar Shane. Sugar Shane. Sugar Shane. There's a lot more respect <laughs> than that. He's put in a lot more time and a lot more press, you know, interviews and stuff. Yes. For you to call him his name like that, and that's disrespectful. That is rude. But I'm he sorry. will lose. I was, I was going to say, I still, unless he goes out and it just fucking ends up popping fucking Sterling really fast. But I think Sterling just takes, I mean, dude, Sterling's uh, on a, look what he did to Cejudo. I mean, after look, that, how can you expect? Look what he did to Peter Yan. That's what, yeah, I, cause that, Peter yeah. Yan was a significantly better striker. Oh yeah. And yeah. Than, than, uh, he kicked Al his Jermaine. ass, man. He kicked his ass too. And he not only, yeah, he, he handled I mean, he him kicked, well and he took him ass. down and Peter Yan has a lot better take down defense in oh for better sure ground game than sean o'malley it's not and even close right there yeah no i'm with you i honestly don't know what's gonna i will say i saw a funny fact right now john jones is the only guy to win a ufc title after testing positive if fucking sugar or the female challenger if either of them win they will become the second champion to become champion after testing positive sugar for popped a yeah, I forget what it was. It was Osterone or I don't know. At some point in his career, since he's been with UFC, he has popped at some point. So, but not recently. I mean, no, it wasn't anything recent or something like that. Oh, this is within okay. years. This is but it's just saying that no one besides John Jones has come back from that a pop to win a belt. He's the only one to do that. Gotcha. So, both of these challengers tomorrow have that opportunity. So good yeah. for them. Absolutely, come back from adversity. I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it's, it's gonna really... be. I I definitely I'll be at work. So the all honestly the only fight yeah it's an I'll early card, man. It's really early. Like the main event that's is 7 like p.m. 6 p.m. Mike, is it? That's not what I saw. That's what I'm seeing. Mm-hmm. We got to wrap this up. All okay. right, all right. T Bloom Talk Show. 
Sir Charles Aholics, you name it, we're here every Friday. Here is the NFC East overview, predictions, the whole deal. I appreciate everyone for tuning in, especially if you made it to the end of the episode, because I know most of you guys don't. Trust me. I can yeah, see these what things. the fuck, guys? Anyway, Sir Charles, I appreciate you tuning back in. Thank you for giving Happy me your overview, here. your whole prediction, your whole deal. Shout out to your Giants little, you know, throw over there. That's pretty classic, pretty vintage. With that being said, T-Boom Talk Show, Sir Charles VIII. We'll see we you out. next week. Out.